Hello, my Aries. This is your ex spread for the 24th through the 30th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Let's see what's going on. Your next week's videos are going to be a little bit different, but I'll wait for that. Um, it's going to include an extended version um, on Vimeo. Let's see. Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Aries. What's going on for my Aries? Let's take a look at what your current situation is here. What is Aries' current situation? The Knight of Wands, moving forward, making strides, um, excited about something or someone here. I see you guys look into the future. It's like you're no longer willing to stay stuck in the past. But you're studying something. You're studying something. You're trying to perfect something here. Mm hmm Trying to become... Look at that. Uh, no. <laughs> Hang on one second, guys. Let me make sure they're all still in the upright. Lots of cards falling out here. Yeah, you guys are trying to perfect something here. And, I mean, you're working really hard on it. But you're worried about if... You know, it's going to work out and, you know, all of that stuff. But <laughs> this is the other person's, your ex's deck right here. And so, um, yeah, they are worried about you because they see you moving on here. This is them, judgment. They're being called to make a decision about you. Strongly is what I'm feeling. Um, this person has been thinking about this over and over again, thinking about what they've done, and um, it's keeping them up. Whatever they did to you, which I feel like, you know, it probably was absolutely horrible. Let's see where you guys, what you just experienced in the past, because, um, yeah, they have the nine of swords right now at the bottom of the deck. They're overall feeling like, let's see where you guys are coming from. Healing. Learning to love yourself here. After you've been taken through the ringer. Let's see where they're coming from. Hmm. Yeah. There is something that, um, that shifted in them. You guys went through a breakup, of course. But I feel like this person is going through some changes. And they are being called currently to make a decision about something that they have put an ending to here. Or both of you guys have put an ending to because we have two endings here. But both of these are rebirths as well. Transformation. Bringing something back from the dead. Maybe a Scorpio you guys are dealing with does not have to be. But this is, this is strong here. That they're really trying to make a decision about what to do about Aries. Do I go and apologize to them? Do I go and try to get back with them? You know, it's something about you. Let's see how you, what you think about them. What do you think about, what does Aries think about their ex? Hmm. That all they think about is money. That's all they're concerned with is money. Um, their attention is not on you. Never was, is what you feel. Like, you know, they're so focused on getting all the money that they can get so they can have all the attention that they need. Because I feel like this person needs attention here. I feel like they wanted to be in a committed relationship. It's like they were pulled, this person. They want to be in a relationship. They, they feel like you're attractive. Um, they want it to be with you. But at the same time, I feel like this person um, probably lacks some, some emotions um, when it comes to like, you know, really telling you how they feel, that they love you, this, that, and the other. This is the kind of person that feels like if they take care of you, if they go buy you um, a, a Louis Vuitton purse, then it's like, okay, so what's wrong with you? I just bought you this purse. Or, you know, if you go buy them um, 
you know, a Rolex watch, then it's like this person feels like I just bought you a Rolex watch. So why are you tripping? You know, that type of person, they associate um, love with taking care of you or buying you things here. Okay, this kind of person. And this is how you view them. Like they get attention or they the only way they know how to express love is with their money, what they buy you, what they do for you, you know. This kind of person person. Taurus Virgo Capricorn individual here. Let's see how they feel about you. What they think about my Aries. Hmm. This person feels like you're not budging. Like, you know, you have standards. Um, you're not moving from those standards. They feel like you are interacting with people. You are somebody that, you know, you, whatever knowledge you have, you like to share it. Okay. They feel like you're there for people. They feel like maybe you are um, a counselor type. You, you just like to help people. You're there for everybody. Is how they feel but they also feel like you are wanting commitment and you're not having anything other than that so what they're deciding on is whether or not they can really fulfill the shoes that um, you need somebody to feel whether it's them or somebody else at this point okay so <clears throat> excuse me let's see what your feelings are about getting back together how does Aries feel about getting back together they have all majors here. How does Aries feel about getting back together? Hmm. I think that right now you're just trying to work and like, you know, get your finances straight. Um, you're working on yourself. And, but, you know, for the most part, I think that you guys, you know, if somebody, if somebody comes in, this person comes in and you really feel like, you know, they are willing to put the work in this time. I feel like a lot of you guys, not all of you, but I feel like a lot of you guys, if you really can see progress and you can really see that this person has changed, I feel like you will be willing to work with them. But they're going to have to bring it here with the Eight of Pentacles. They're, they're going to have to put in some hard work to get my Aries. And the thing is, they know it. They know it here because they're looking right at the Eight of Pentacles. They know they're going to have to put their nose to the grind, not at work, but with you. Okay? This person knows what they have to bring. And I think that's why they are, like, you know, deciding here whether or not they can fill those shoes. Because they weren't willing to in the past. They were, like, maybe 60% in, probably. But they're reflecting on the past here with death. See how she's looking back, but she's going forward. She's like, okay, now that didn't work for me before. So, you know, I got to come with something different if I approach Aries here. Okay? So let's see <clears throat> what their feelings are about getting back together here. Then they have the Knight of Wands. You see how this person has one foot in and one foot out? It's like they're a little unsure. Um, they definitely want to. Definitely want to. Definitely wants to offer something here with this wine. Wanting to come towards you. But you see this person right here is not on a horse. They're walking. So it's like, you know, they're really trying to make sure that they come, they come with what they need to win you back. They're trying to figure out too, you know, what is something that they need to offer you for this to work out? And they know they're going to have to offer commitment. They know they're going to have to come correct here. Yeah, but if they don't hurry up, because see, you have the Knight of Wands up here, but you're on a horse. So, you know, you're going to move right past their asses in a, in a, in a little bit. Um, there's not going to be anything that they can do, I feel. Because the more you build on yourself, the more that you're out there, 
um, you may end up meeting somebody else that, I mean, right out the gate, you don't have to work on them. They're coming the way that you need for them to come, okay? That's what I like to see. Come how I need for you to come, okay? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see how you can help this thing along here. If you want it. Hmm. I think if this person comes, I think you definitely need to be open and honest about, you know, what you feel like is going to work for you and what's not. Um, I think there's a need for you to see through the, sh I was getting ready to say a cuss word, see through the haze. Um, you know, don't just listen to what they're telling you. You know, you will be able to sense with your intuition if this person is genuine, legit, and you know has good intentions okay this is seeing the truth you'll be able to see through it everything that looks good is not good don't come feed me some some cockamamie story you know show me show me the goods okay let's see how they can increase the chances of you guys getting back together here Oops. Hmm. They need confidence. They need the confidence not only to come towards you, but be confident in that they want to. Okay? Be confident in making this decision. Be confident. Don't have one foot in and one foot out. Be solid in what they want and do it. Okay, be be a man or be a woman about it and, you know, uh, come with whatever it is that you want. All right, so let me get this other deck over here, guys. And we're going to see what the potential outcome is for you guys. What's the potential outcome for Aries and their ex? What's the possibility of this, this happening? What's the possibility? Hmm. The Three of Wands. I think for you, my Aries, I think you guys, because this is an Aries card, I think you feel like there's something better out there for you. Because I get the feeling that this person will probably, um, you know, sit on this decision, sit on what it is that they know they want to do, and um, they're going to prolong this situation. And by that time, you guys are already, you know, you, you have your sights off of them completely. Um, you probably won't even be watching this reading anymore. <laughs> because you're like, you know, you're done with this. Because I feel like this person is hoping and praying that you come to them. Which I don't feel like is going to happen. Okay? So, I'm going to leave it there. Now, in the extended version, I'm going to end up... If, if this car, if the potential is um, very strong that this person will come towards you, I will pull a card to see approximately when okay so but that's going to be an extended which i will probably start doing um within the next two weeks anyway okay guys so that's what i have for you and i will be speaking with you guys soon